Hey finders, welcome back to Fortune Finds. Today we're gonna to be talking about the purchases I made during the Sephora VIB Rouge, whatever it is sale. It is the sale that Sephora has twice a year where they offer you 10% off if you're an insider, 15% off if you're a VAB like me, and then I think you get 20% off if you're a Rouge, which I'm not. So I didn't get 20% off, but I got 15% off all of my purchases and I have been playing around with each and every one of them for the last few weeks. If you are interested in hearing what I purchased during the sale and what products I would recommend for you, then let's stop babbling and let's get on to the makeup video. I'm going to be inserting clips of me applying the makeup that I'm talking about and also other makeup that I purchased that wasn't during the Sephora VIB sale. Mostly Sephora, but I'm gonna talk about some of the other products that I used in this video because you know what? Fortune finds. I'm here to tell you guys my findings. Let's start out with the Tarte Clean Slate Timeless Smoothing Primer. You crack it open like this. It's like a smoothing, creamy, like, not like super thick, but thicker primer. I'm used to like more liquidy lotion primers. Like most people, I have pores like in my T-zone that poke through and I just wanted to see if like this was all the rave because I've heard really good things about this. To apply this, I simply took it on my finger, dabbed it in, and then I pushed and pressed the product into my skin. So it was a pushing and pressing motion. I didn't apply this like I would a typical primer, which is like when I just do a few pumps and then rub it all over my face. No, I pushed it and pressed the product into my skin. I really do like this primer. I think that it seriously does smooth my pores and it really does diminish them. I mean, sitting here today, they look pretty diminished. I got like a pretty decent amount in there, I will say. Okay, so after I primed my face, I went in with my Maybelline New York Dream Cushion Foundation. Now, I did not buy this at Sephora. I bought this at Ulta. I am in the shade, what shade is this? Warm Nude. And to apply this, I simply took my Eco Tool sponge. I dipped it into the actual cushion and just dabbed it all over my face. Worked my way until I built up the coverage that I really wanted. I'm currently working on a video that will be up next Thursday, so stay tuned for that, where I'm comparing three cushion foundations. This is gonna be a part of my Working Girls series, which if you wanna hear more about that, I'm not gonna to talk too much about it today, but you can tune in next Thursday, which is my upload day, and I will run you guys through that little series that I'm doing. After that, I went in with my Tarte Aqua Seal. Uh, I can't, this is like always such a tongue twister for me. The Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Aqua Sealer Concealer and I'm in the shade Light Neutral. I bought this at Ulta and I just simply apply that under my eyes like I typically would a little bit down the nose on my chin and then I stamped that into the skin using the same Eco Tool sponge. To set my under eye concealer, I went in with the Hourglass Veil Translucent Setting Powder. Now I got the mini one because I honestly own so many tubs of the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder that I was like, I really don't need this powder, but I really want to try it. I have combo to dry skin. I mostly dry like along my nose and like under my eyes, like all like here, I get really, really dry and my skin gets flaky. Now I noticed a lot of the time when I put a translucent powder on, you can really see the texture of my under eye. So I bought this because I heard so many great things about how if you're someone that has dry skin, this is one that will really like melt into the skin and not sit on it. So it won't look like your under eye is dry. I really like it. I mean, can you see? I don't think my under eyes look dry at all. I think they look pretty hydrated. I am like a little tired. I am suffering from allergies. So like, I could look better. When you receive the product, there's like a plastic protector over it that you need to peel off. It's like a sticker. Peel it over the sink because the first time that I opened this, I plucked it off and there it was setting powder all over me, all over my clothes, all over the floor. It just like went everywhere. And I can't imagine that there's a lot of product in here because I did get the trial size. There's 0.07 ounces so not a lot so one be careful with that and two it just needs a little bit of time it looks a little cakey in the beginning but i promise you it will melt into the skin and it, your your under eye skin will look really really hydrated so i also recommend this product from sephora i'm trying to like go in order here moving on to the eyes i used the urban decay eyeshadow primer potion you pop it out and it comes on a little wand i just simply apply that all over the eyes and press that in 
this is an anti-aging potion anything that says anti-aging i just eat it up so do i know if it's anti-aging no i've only been using it for three weeks but i have to say it does a really really good job of adhering to the eyeshadow it made it blend really well also while we're on eyes this is the kiehl's youth dose eye treatment this is like a relatively new product from kiehl's i think they released it like i want to say like a month maybe like a month and a half, two months ago. I go through this stuff like water. Um, I did a video recently talking about this product. It was like in one of my favorites. I think it was my August favorites. This stuff like literally got rid of so many of my fine lines under my eyes. I will look back in my computer and find my before and after. My fine lines diminished. I have a few less of them and I literally use this every night before I go to bed. I put three dots, so it's boop, 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 and then I rub it in gently with my ring finger. Do that before you go to bed. I promise you, like within the matter of days, you will see such a big difference. So I actually purchased two Natasha Denona palettes. I've heard so many good things about her eyeshadow that I really wanted to try it myself. I know that it's pretty pricey. I got the Natasha Denona Mini Lila Eyeshadow Palette and then I also got the Natasha Denona Eyeshadow Palette 5 in number 9. Like there's a pretty big difference in the two. Like look at this mini one. It's so cute but you don't get a lot of eyeshadow product. Today's look using the Eyeshadow Palette number 9 but I also did a look yesterday using the Mini Lila Palette so I will insert both clips why don't we start with today's clip? I'm taking Indian Gold on a fluffy brush and just stamping that all over the lid. I knew this is going to be a bright, shimmery look from the beginning, so I figured why not just do bright and shimmery right out the gate. I'm taking the shade Glam Green and I'm using that on a tighter blending brush and just putting that in the crease to cut the crease. Because honestly, who says you can't use a shimmer shade to cut the crease? It's beautiful, it's stunning. I think it's unique and gives a very editorial look and like I said, it's super different. No one's really doing it. Now taking the shade Industrial, I'm taking that on a flat shadow brush and just stamping that on the inner third of the lid. This is gonna give that really brightening effect because look how beautiful, shimmery, and bright that shadow is. It is so pretty. It just brightens up the entire look. Taking Antique Olive, I use that on the same flat shadow brush and I'm using that on the outer third of the eye to maybe make it a little darker, give it more dimension, give it more of like a cat eye effect. I'm using that to just line the bottom lash line. Indian Gold again, I'm using that to highlight the inner corner and the brow bone. Glam Green once more, I'm going to line my bottom lash line with that as well. Curling the lashes, obviously, because I have short stubby lashes, so you know we gotta curl them. And then throwing on my all-time favorite mascara, the L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara. And then there you have the finished look. I think it looks beautiful. Like I said, very editorial, different, and I love the cool tones. I personally, I don't own a lot of cool palettes. I feel like a lot of companies and a lot of influencers and just brands are coming out with warm palettes because that's like what everybody wants. Everybody loves a warm smoky eye. That's just like what it comes down to. I bought this palette because I thought it was really cool and really different and it has a lot of cool tones and it's very sparkly and I love silver. Like I feel like all my palettes are very brown and gold, you know, like very basic bitch palettes and don't get me wrong. I find being called basic a compliment. I am your basic behotch to a T, but I wanted something different, especially if you're going to spend $48, like look at this, look at this. And it matches my jacket today. Oh, and I actually didn't do that on purpose. I highly, highly recommend you go to Sephora, swatch it, you try it. It's really, really great. Like, look at that on my eyes. I feel like it's very like editorial yet like editorial 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 wearable i love it i think it's great and i highly recommend this now i'm going to run you through the eye look that i did last night i'm taking the shade flint on a fluffy brush and i'm just cutting the crease not so much cutting it because it's such a fluffy brush but i'm just dusting it all over the crease this is just going to help blend out all the purple that i'm about to throw on my eye I'm taking raisin which is the more meeker purple in the palette and I'm just actually cutting the crease with that. I'm using a tighter fluffy brush and just packing that all in the crease. And shields wiper motions, you know how we do here. And then because this is such a purple blown out look that I'm doing, I'm going back and forth between the two shades Flint 
and raisin and just blending them back and forth. Just making sure we don't lose that brown shade. And then going back in with that tighter brush using the shade Raisin to make sure we don't lose the purple. It's all about blending when you do a blown out smoky eye. Now going into Poison Berry. Oh my god, I just love that name. I'm taking a flat shadow brush and I'm just putting that all over the lid. This is the color that I want to show up the most. This is the color that I'm blowing out in this blown out smoky eye that I keep talking about and keep saying. Now going back in with that flint shade, I'm just, you know, blending out like I said I was going to. Now I'm going back in with raisin and raisin again. I'm just gonna stamp that on the outer third of my eye. Again, creating more dimension. I just want the outer third to be a little bit darker. This is what creates dimension in the eye and gives your eyes a more pulled up and cat eye effect. Now I'm going in with the shade Linen, which is so pretty, and that is the brightest shade in the palette, so I'm using that to highlight my brow bone and the inner corner of my eye. Grabbing Raisin one more time, I'm gonna use that to line the lower lash line, just pulling that a little bit further than I normally would because, you know, it's a blown out smoky eye. How many times do I have to say it? And once I was happy with how blown out it was, you know, I threw on my favorite L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara. To line my lash line, I used the Stila Smudge Kajal Eyeliner in the shade Nude. I think this look came out beautiful. I love how blown out the purple is. I am such a purple girl. I have brown eyes. I think that purple just makes brown eyed men and women, just like their eyes just pop. But this came out so beautiful. I love how it came out. The shadow blended so well. And as you can see, I'm really feeling myself and really feeling this look. So hats off to you, Natasha Denona. I love the shadow. It did, it did a thing for me. I don't know what the thing is, but it looks real good. It did the thing. I think that this palette is so adorable, so tiny, and I think it's like so purse friendly. I just really love this other one so much more. Definitely go check it out. I think this is a really great palette if you're looking for colors like this. It's super cute. Now, if you want to get a taste for Natasha Denona's shadows, because I feel like everyone talks about her and how amazing her shadows are, but you don't want to spend $50, I highly recommend going out and testing this one out. See how you feel, see if you like it. Honestly, if you're out of Sephora, go and swatch these both. Like, go check them out. She has a lot of really fun colors. The shimmers are stunning in both palettes and I would recommend them both, but I really love this one. Okay, I'm gonna stop babbling because I've said it like 30 times, but guys, this might be my new favorite eyeshadow palette. Going to be contouring using the shade Shadow Play. I'm just taking that on a fluffy brush and I'm just chiseling out my cheeks. What I have been doing lately is I chisel my cheeks a little bit higher than the natural chisel. So when I suck my cheekbones in. I've been applying the bronzer a little bit higher than that natural, you know, indent in the cheek. I think it brings your face up and makes your face look more lifted. So it's just something that I've been doing. So once I'm done with the cheekbones, I'm moving on to the forehead, just making my five head of forehead as per usual, and then just cutting the jawline and bringing that down the neck, creating that shadow effect that gets rid of our potential double chin. Now going into the shade Levitation, I just use that on a brush to bring it down my nose, just you know, to highlight and brighten the nose in between the brows, the end of the nose, just using that to help contour my nose. To further contour my nose, taking the shade Subconscious on the same brush and I'm just running that down the corners of my nose to give it more of a snatch look to make my nose look a little bit thinner than it actually is. Levitation again to highlight the cheekbones. And for some reason I thought it was a good idea to use Lucid, that peachy color, to just highlight the apples of my cheeks. Ultimately I ended up going into my Tarte Amazonian Clay blush that I use all the time and I just threw that on top. So that is the finished look. Out of all the things that I bought, I don't really recommend this. It did come off a little bit chalky. It did go on a little bit streaky. And I have used this about four times. Although I didn't show you today, I really think that the Lyric shade, which is this yellow shade right here, does a really good job of acting as a banana powder. So if you don't know what a banana powder is, I recently did a banana battle video where I compared three drugstore price banana powders. That's probably like my 
most favorite video that I've ever done to date today. I will link that down below if you're interested, but banana powders use a banana color to just brighten up your under eye even more than like a translucent powder would. So I think that this shade Lyric does a really good job of being a banana powder, but I have so many banana powders. And if you watch that video, you'll find out what my favorite banana powder is. And you know, I ain't gonna tell you in this video cause I want you to go watch my other video. I also have been using Levitation to set my whole face. It's not bad. It's kind of like a translucent powder with like a little bit of like a peachy tone, not too much, but like, I don't know, honestly, like I would use your MAC bronzer or like personally, I have the NARS Laguna bronzer. Like I would stick to one of those and I would just simply take a brush like the JH07, dip it in and just chisel out your cheeks. Like just suck it in and chisel it. You don't need a fancy overpriced contour palette. You really don't. If you have a bronzer, just go ahead, girl. Take your bronzer. Like I've literally been doing this for years. I've been so anti buying a contour palette. I don't know what came over me. I just like saw it and was like, ooh, ah, it's always sold out. No matter when you go to Sephora, I feel like every Sephora I've ever been to, I've always looked at the Kat Von D section because I really, really, really do like her tattoo liner. You should totally buy that in the Sephora VIB sale. So I pretty much recommend everything except the Kat Von D shade and light palette. And I'm just gonna touch upon two other things before I wrap up this video. And that is the amazing Sol de Janeiro. Brazilian bum bum cream. First of all, look how adorable this packaging is. It just like smells like cocoa butter with like suntan lotion. Every time I shower, I come out and I lather this all over me. It makes my bed smell amazing. It makes my pajamas smell amazing. It makes everything smell amazing. You can literally smell where I've been. And I don't know if you are like one of those girls or one of those guys that really likes an over powering scent. I woke up this morning and I was laying in bed with Mike and he was like, do you smell cookies? And I'm like, cookies? No. And he's like, I smell something sweet that smells like cookies. And I'm like, mm. so I just like lifted my arm and I was like, is it me? And he's like, oh my God, you smell like cookies. And I'm like, cookies, I'm supposed to smell like a Brazilian booty bum bum queen. That's what I'm supposed to smell like. But he thought I smelled like cookies. So I just thought that that was funny, but I highly recommend this. It is super hydrating. I hate showering. Like I really hate showering. Now I know that's really disgusting and I probably shouldn't say this on video, but I do shower every single day. I don't wash my hair every day, but I do shower every day. I'm an avid exerciseaholic, so girl, you know I shower every day. This stuff has made me seriously look forward to every single shower that I take because I know that this is on the other side. So I really do recommend this. I think it's great. And then last but not least, Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask. It smells like watermelon berries. It just smells so good. I really, really love how it comes with the little applicator. I'm sorry, I'm, I left in the other room and I'm too lazy slash I'm trapped. Like I can't leave this room because Brogan is literally waiting outside for me to leave. And he will literally sneak in here, destroy my entire setup because he loves playing with the wires. But it comes with a really, really cute applicator. It's like a little plastic applicator, which I love. You dig it in here and then you smooth it over your lips. You don't have to put your finger in there. It's like so sad sanitary in my opinion and it feels so nice and I feel like it gets the product on really evenly and in the morning I wake up I take a paper towel and I wipe off the excess it's supposed to be like an exfoliating sleeping mask rub it all over my lips and take off any of that skin that it may have exfoliated during the night and my lips have never felt better this is a really great product I really do recommend this those are all of my Sephora VIB sale purchases if you have any questions about any of them please be sure to leave me whatever it is you want to know down below in the comments if if you liked this video, you know what to do. Leave me a big thumbs up down below. Like I said, leave me some love in the comments. Do you own any of these products? What do you think about these products? Are you curious about any of them? Are you gonna go out and buy any of these products? Let me know down below in the comments and be sure to subscribe to my channel. I would love for you to become a part of my little fortune finds family. I'm here every Thursday. I sit down with you guys and disclose my findings of the week. I'm always trying out new products, always looking for the next best thing. Also be sure to click the bell button. This way you get a notification every time I upload a video here on my YouTube channel. And yeah, I hope you guys are having a great day, whatever it is you are doing. And thank you so much for joining me and I'll see you in the next one. Bye finders. Mwah.